I want to make a point. Done. No, just kidding. My point is that there are two kinds of late in Dart. You might have not seen late before, because it's a late addition to Dart. No, it's a recent addition with no safety, that's why we're in the Dart pad with no safety. And let's first read through what late is supposed to be. The late keyword has two effects. First, the analyzer does not require you to immediately initialize a late variable to a non-null value. What does it mean? Because that might have been a little fast. It means that you can have code that would not be valid otherwise. Like this. Be valid. Why is this not valid? Why does this not compile? Why do we get a compile time error? We get a compile time error because type string does not allow null. So obviously this is valid. Because we assign bar. But taking it away is not. You might say, hey, I have this function bears and I'm clearly assigning bar before using it. So why is this not valid? And the answer is no safety. But if you're promising, if you're making a promise, then you can put late. So now you're promising that you will assign it before using it. No safety means you can't do this, but when you promise that you will assign it before using it, then you can do it. Then it's fine. So this compiles and it runs. I can even show it. It runs. Let's put a hyphen here. It runs. So the first effect is a promise. I've noted it down here. We promise assignment later. And I call it late assign. Because if you remember, I want to prove that there are two kinds of late in Dart. Two kinds of late. But the first effect is that we promise that it will be assigned later. This is what this was. Let's go through the second effect of the late keyword. The runtime lazily initializes the late variable. For example, if a non-nullable instance variable must be calculated, adding the late modifier delays the calculation until the first use of the instance variable. Now your brain might be mush. What does this mean? Well, okay, it means that if you need to do a calculation, you make a calculation function where you need to calculate something. You need to calculate the answer to life, the universe and everything. So here you calculate it. Here's the awesome act of printing calculates. That's our calculation. And you could obviously say int bar equals calculation. Then you say, okay, I have the best function and here I want to print not bears, but bar, right? So you want to print bar and there's the best function. You run this and this will work. We'll print calculate and then print 42 twice. If you print bass here, it will obviously print bass first. But it's basically just saying, okay, when we initialize foo, when we construct it, we also want to run the calculation. This is what we can see, we calculate immediately. But now there's late lazy, which is what I call it. It means that the initialization happens lazily. That is what it said for the effect. And when will it apply? It will apply when we put the late keyword here. It means we put the late keyword and then we have the initializer here, but now it will happen lazily. This means that we construct the class and this is not run. It is only run the first time that bar is accessed. And the first time that this is accessed is here in print foo.bar. This means that calculate baz42 will turn into baz calculate42. Hey, and that is lazy initialization. So these are the two effects, right? We went through them. The two effects that the late keyword has are late assign, that we promise the assignment later, and late lazy that 
the initialization happens lazily. There's something really important that this doesn't say. Essentially, if you use the first effect, if you make use of this effect, the second effect does not happen. So when do, you, when do we make use of the first effect? When we don't immediately initialize. Okay, so we don't immediately initialize. Instead, we want to initialize in Baz. Here we initialize. But wait, what? It's not lazy anymore. No. So if you use the first effect, the late assign effect, if you use it, the second effect will not occur. You could actually call it mutually exclusive if you wanted to. And in that case, it would be, it would be two kinds of late in Dart. You don't need to call it mutually exclusive because some people might argue that the other way around it is true. But if we look at it the other way around, if we make use of the lazy initialization, so here we make use of the lazy initialization, we run it, we have Baz calculate 42. We made use of the lazy initialization. Are we still making use of the promised assignment later? I would argue no, but it doesn't really matter. What really matters if is that when you promise the assignment later and make use of it, then the assignment will not be lazy. It will be when you initialize. You can just keep that in mind. That's it for the two kinds. I hope it was somewhat clear. If you want to learn more, then stay here because I have two bonuses. That is, when is late assign unnecessary? And one is late lazy, unnecessary. And in that case, I mean, the late keyword is redundant. It has an absolutely no effect. It is there for no reason. It doesn't do anything. Let's do something really cool. A late final top level variable. Actually, just a late top level variable. Right? We want to have a lazy initialization. So we don't want to do this. We want to have a calculation function where we return the answer to life, the universe and everything. And we also print something. So now we again, we have a lazy initialization here. This can be proven by printing something in main before we access our variable. So we print and then we access our variable. And also print it if that's better for you. If we add the calculation, you will see before calculate 42. Right? Because this is lazy. We have the late lazy here. Right here we have the late lazy. And also for top level variables, you can also do the late assign. You can also do it, but it's again not lazy. So if we do this, the thing turns around and it has before calculate before 42. No. So you can only have one of the two, as I said. I mentioned it. They are kind of mutually exclusive. Which is my point. <laughs> if you've been around for a while in Dart, you might know that actually top-level variables are always lazy. Top-level variables are always lazy. So you see this code? It is precisely the same as this. Removing the late keyword doesn't change anything. It actually doesn't change anything. It's exactly the same. There's no functional difference. So late lazy, redundant for top level variables. It just doesn't do anything. And it doesn't matter if it's final or not. It simply doesn't do anything. You can see this is lazy. So it will say before calculate 42. And if you put late there, it will say exactly the same because it doesn't change anything. Obviously, what does change something is when you put late and then you initialize later. But then this doesn't even happen. As I said, there are two kinds of late and only the first kind will happen. Only late assign will happen. So now you can see late assign, but you can't see late lazy. This means that late lazy is redundant for top level variables because they are always lazy. 
And now you might have already guessed it. Local variables make late assign redundant because you can all also use late or local variables. So if I have a late info local variable as equal to the calculation, and then I print the before statement, and then I use access foo. This is lazy again. As you can see, the assignment is with the declaration. This means that it's late lazy. Ta da! Before calculate 42. If you take it away, it's not lazy anymore. You have calculate before 42. So, as you can see, you can also use it with local variables. And now you might say, hey, what's redundant? Well, what you can also do is have the late assigned for local variables. So, you can assign it only here. Before calculate 42. Let's see what happens when we take it away. Nothing. It's exactly the same. There's no difference. It's the same. <laughs> it's just redundant. So late assign is redundant for local variables. I'll put an extra segment for why this is even necessary to have late. The other way around late would be making an int nullable. For example, if we have an instance field, this isn't valid, but making it nullable is valid because then it will be initialized with null initially. Mm -hmm. But you can also make it late and then say it isn't nullable because you only assign it once and you know that you assign it before you use it. Right, that's the use of late for the late assign thing and the late lazy thing was pretty obvious from what you read, obviously the calculation thing and stuff. And in Flutter that will be really nice because so this is actually something that I can add for lazy. You have access to this. If you have a function baz that takes a foo and you want to say it also returns a foo just for fun. Let's say we have a bar, so a foo bar. And say that it's equal to baz of this. It will say, hey, this is not valid because you can't use this in an initializer you have no access to this before the constructor body so the first time you don't have access to this in the initializer so here you would also not have access to this it, it's simply you don't have access to it see it says it's invalid you don't um, you also don't have access to this here. You can only say this dot bar, but you don't have access to this as in you can say this dot bar equals best this. It simply is not valid because you can't access this and it's not constant. But anyway, um, the point being, if you put late, it's possible. And this gives you some possibilities for Futter, which frankly, uh, Remy made me aware of. If you, I'll link the tweet. And I'll also link the issue to this, basically the redundancy. Because I think it's interesting. And that's it. You can learn anything, creative creator, or maybe not, out.